For this part, first video, we'll cover problems 1214 and 1218. The first problem is an economic order quantity problem, and we have a couple of variables that we have to determine before we can use our two formulas that we've got set up right here. The first one is we are um, missing quantity, and we are also missing holding costs. So we're going to need to get both of those before we can find our total costs. But we do have enough variables to go ahead and get our economic order quantity. So we can go ahead and find um, the EOQ figure. So if we put in our equal sign, we're going to be calculating this formula right here, the square root of 2 ds over h, where d is our demand for the year, and s is our ordering costs, and h is our holding costs. So we're going to be putting in our square root function, and you can just type this in, or you can go up and you can use your insert function either way. If you type it in, we're just going to put in square root and then in open parentheses, and then we're going to type in our formula. And I just hit an incorrect button there. Alright, let me get back on track here. And we're just going to start putting in our formula two times. And we're going to just click on our, on our uh, cells here, two times our demand times our uh, ordering costs, or excuse me, our yeah, our ordering costs, and close that parentheses, and divide by, and open parentheses, and B14, which is our holding rate times our unit price. So we're going to do our holding rate times our holding our unit price. Okay, and we're going to do a check mark here. I think we need a uh, Another set of parentheses on the outside of this. And you should get 92.8. You can copy that formula over and you should get 88.3. So the economic order quantity or the um, optimal amount to order uh, it would be 92.8 per month. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to find out the quantity that we would want to order um, or that we would need to order in order to take this discount. So um, this is a six month deal and this is a three month deal. I think when I sent you out the spreadsheet, those two numbers were reversed. So you might wanna just switch those now. So you wanna switch this to a six and this to a three. And the reason why we can tell that is because we're gonna get a better deal with a six month order than with a three month order. Okay, so to find our quantity here, it's very easy. We're going to take our annual demand, and we are going to divide that by 12 to find out what our monthly demand is, and then multiply that by 6. And that tells us how much we would need and how much our demand is for 6 months. And this is going to be the same thing. We're going to take our annual demand, divide that by 12, and multiply that by 3. So we need an order for 780 or an order for 390. 
Okay, and our holding costs here, we're going to uh, calculate this as our price times our rate. And here our holding costs are going to be, again, our price times our rate. All right, that'll make it a little bit easier to find our total costs. Okay, so in our quantity here, now we have got all of our variables. We've got our D and our Q and our S, and we've got our Q and our 2 and our H. So now we're just going to substitute. Okay, so for the next calculation, we need to calculate total costs, and we're going to do that using this formula for total costs. And this is a little deceptive because it's giving you here two parts of the formula, but not the final part of the formula. So in order to get to total costs, you have to add these parts, but you also have to add the cost of the food in as well to get total costs. So total cost is going to be equal to the actual cost of the food, plus the holding cost, plus the ordering cost to find out total cost. So we're going to start with our equal sign and we're going to um, just follow along with our formula here. It's going to be our ordering cost, so our demand divided by our quantity that we're allowed to order times our ordering cost and close that parentheses and we're going to add that to the amount of demand divided by 2 times our holding costs which we've already got this calculated out, so we can just grab our holding costs right here. Right here, I've got it so that we're calculating it out, but we've already done that right here. So either way you want to do it, it's B13 times B14 in this cell, or you can put B13 times B14 in your formula here, so either way. Okay, and then we're going to add that to the total cost. So B11 times B13. And you should end up with 25,468. Okay, so you should have this calculated out. Um, we did have one number that needed to be changed. This B6, this B11 should have been B16. So when you finish that formula, go back and change that. B16 should be uh, right here. So I grabbed the wrong number on this B11 right here. Change this to B16 and then you should be good to go. When you get that finished, copy over, and you should have your, set, your correct number on both uh, formulas here. So your formula should match the formula down here. Okay. Moving on to 1218. In this formula, we are making a um, grid, pricing grid, and we are going to be using these two formulas. This formula goes in the blue, and this formula goes in the pink. And the trick with this problem is to use the absolute referencing um, tool in order to make uh, make it so that you just have to create the formula and copy over and copy down. 
So we're going to put this formula in this uh, first cell and copy over and copy down. And we're going to put the second formula in the pink and copy down and copy over. Okay, so this formula is coming from our um, cost formula. So we are taking A13, which is the order.